Eric Shaver Dio here. I'm coming to you with another medical research related update. I think almost all of you out there will have heard of Lyme's disease spread by the deer tick, also known as the black leg tick, but very few of you will have heard of alpha gal syndrome spread by the lone star tick. The lone star tick is endemic to huge areas of Mexico and the United States, endemic meaning it is present all over the place. And this particular tick does like dense underbrush in second growth forest but it can be present in a lot of other places. Alpha-gal syndrome is an autoimmune reaction to the saliva of the Lone Star Tick. And as such, preventing bites becomes very important. It's an aggressive disease that results in an autoimmune reaction to red meat. And it can be very difficult to diagnose because the smallest, youngest Lone Star Ticks, the nymphs, are often mistaken for chiggers, so people don't even realize they've been bitten by a tick. Additionally, the reaction to meat can occur up to four hours after ingesting the meat. And we're talking about a very severe reaction that can include hives, generalized itching, swelling of the face, severe nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, and even uh, general anaphylaxis that can result in death. The journal reported the first case of death due to alpha-gal known in the United States, although it has probably happened more often because this is very underdiagnosed. So use DEET-containing insect repellents when you're going into wooded areas and try and cover as much of your body as possible to avoid tick bites and definitely do surveillance just in case you are bit. Lone star ticks also carry several other diseases. If you all out there are interested into a deep dive on tick-borne illnesses that are present in the United States, where these ticks are, what they carry, and what goes on, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you next time.